Keefe D. Now, you done set your gaff toop ass up there on Vlad and told all these Tupac stories. You done told them about your proffer, your queen for the day, knowing goddamn well it's not immunity. No, you shouldn't be talking about this Tupac shit. I know you was trying to get out that 25, but Vlad, Greg Caden, all these motherfuckers working to get you. You got to be out your mind. You heard me, Keefe D? Because these motherfuckers really fuck with Tupac. And you out here bragging about how y'all killed Tupac. Well, you got to be the dumbest gangster ever, nigga. Yeah. Now your house got raided again 27 years later. Nigga, you, what do they call it? You're not smarter than a fifth grader, nigga. Boy, Vlad and them get y'all on this motherfucker telling everything. And that shit come back to bite y'all in the ass, nigga. They told you. You gonna get charged, jackass. Investigators of Valley Homes searched in connection to the Tupac Shakur murder investigation nearly 27 years after his death. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Metro Police confirming they searched a home as part of their ongoing work to solve who killed the rapper and hip-hop icon. A News Now investigator David Charns breaking this story. David, what are you learning tonight? Right, Denise, sources telling the A News Now investigators this search involves Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D. Davis speaking publicly about the night Tupac died in videos on YouTube and in a book. It's a murder that shocked the world of music. 25 year old Tupac Shakur shot four times inside this BMW in this intersection near the Las Vegas Strip in September 1996. He would die from his injuries six days later. ADU's now investigator Vanessa Murphy speaking exclusively with paramedics in 2016. We okay. brought the gurney brought up, up over, just pulled them out, mm -hmm. pulled them out. Um, and that's when, you know, that's when I, everybody was yelling, um, Tupac, Tupac. Over the last 27 years, Metro Police have made no arrests, suspecting a rival gang targeted the rapper after a Mike Tyson fight. Someone in another car shot Shakur. The question, after all these years remaining, who was it? Sources telling the 8 News Now investigators Tuesday the warrant served at a home in Henderson Monday involves 60 year old Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D. He's made several public statements about a possible shooter. Sources say detectives may have been looking for writings or documents connected to a book Davis recently published. People at the home declined to comment Tuesday, warning things could escalate should we stay outside or record them. Right now, nobody is in custody, and a quarter century later, police have never filed charges in this case, a case Metro says it is determined to solve. I'm David Keefe D. Uh, myself, the FBI, uh, Keefe D's lawyer, we sat down under what's known as a proffer agreement, and he um, divulged all of the details about what took place in Las Vegas the night Tupac was shot. At that point in time, it's we're just going through the investigative um, uh, we're just going through the uh, kind of investigative process until I retired and I came to the realization that these these crimes, the public is never going to know what we did in this investigation and the information that we attained. And so I took it upon myself to say, listen, and I went and met with Keefe D before I did it, by the way. He knew that I was releasing the information. I went to his house. Uh, we sat in my truck and I said, here's the deal. Um, you're never going to probably get prosecuted on this, but I'm going to expose what you did. Wow. And uh, I said, I'm just letting you know ahead of time. I'm, I'm writing a book, and I'm going to tell the story. And uh, listen, you got a huge break on the, on the dope case that we built against you, which was 25 to life. You're walking away on a murder. So if... If the punishment for you is that the public knows the truth about what you did, well, then that's just the fucking way it's going to be. But it should have made him even, it, it shouldn't have hurt him. And that's not the part that's hurting KVD's situation. It's just the fact that people know that he sat down with the police and discussed his nephew. That's, that's what's hurting him. Yeah, well, I think there's two things that's going to hurt <clears throat> KVD for the rest of his life. One, that he got exposed as an informant or a snitch in some in some way not really however you want no come on man when you're you telling gotta, the police but see, this person killed that person but see you, you got to look at it like this my nephew is dead and he took the advantage of that because he was fighting 25 to life right he got caught with some drugs yeah so if i can speak on this 
My nephew and them, all these cats is gone. So if I can speak on that, he used that shit. Should, but for some reason, he wasn't ready for it, so he gave the gun to Orlando, right? Something like that, yeah. And Orlando is the shooter. He's the known shooter. I mean, everybody know Orlando Anderson was a shooter. So Dre got cold feet. He didn't want to do it. He gave the gun to Orlando, and Orlando shot Tupac and Suge. Yeah, he did his thing, yeah. Okay, so what was Tupac and Suge's reaction when Orlando started shooting up the BMW? Oh, uh, shit. Suge just ducked his head, and the first bullet went in his head, so the next one hit him. It was like he was like he was doing a break dance, trying to jump in the back seat or something. Yeah, like damn. Yeah, he was, I, what the fuck? Looked like he was trying to jump in the, but it, it was the bullets was in his ass. Then we made the right, and the bras tried to get a little chase. You know what I'm saying? But I I wonder why Reddy didn't get a chase because I seen him do some shooting before, for sure. Right. So. At, at, we, uh, you want to talk about that too? No, we're gonna get into all that. So, um, Tupac, you said he was trying to reach for a gun, <coughs> or it looked yeah. like he was trying to reach for a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like he was trying to get his thing thing. That's what it looked like. And you, you said that. Tupac tried to jump in the back seat. It looked like he was when y'all start shooting. He was reaching, and it looked like uh, yeah, he was trying to jump in the back seat or something. He was like break dancing or something.